all right? So you've got God, creator, you've got Moses, lawgiver, you've got Jesus, the living redeemer, and you've got man, worshiper. Now, this is very interesting, folks. I want you to read, just please focus on this. What happened when Jesus came to this earth? Everything Jesus did was designed to show us how we ought to live in relationship to Him through Jesus. He's the New Testament, the New Covenant. Everything we do is through Jesus. Well, let's just think about his life and ministry. When he ministered, he repeatedly defied the Pharisees on their Sabbath day. Jesus repeatedly, he went out of his way to do the work that God had called him to do. And then it came time when their anger got the better of them according to the divine will of God, and they crucified him. When did they crucify Jesus? On Friday. Well, what happened on Saturday? On Friday, everybody was there. They were all going about their business. Work was going on. The crowds massed and they crucified Jesus. They led him down the Via Della Rosa, took him out of the Garden of Gethsemane. They beat him to a pulp and there they crucified him on Golgotha. So what happened on Saturday? Nothing. Everybody rested. He hung on the cross. So what happened on Sunday? On Sunday, Jesus, by the power of God, was raised from the dead. Is that all that happened? That was the central feature of Sunday. But if you go back into Luke's gospel, chapter 24, go back to Matthew's gospel, consistently throughout the gospels, here's what happened on Sunday. A lot of things. First of all, a group of people went to his grave to worship him. In fact, they went to give to him. The Bible says they brought spices with which to anoint his body. When they got there to gather around his body, they discovered that he wasn't there. And in the discovering of the fact that he wasn't there, they came to understand that in fact he wasn't dead, he was alive. Jesus made himself known to them. It didn't stop there either. On that same day, those same women went and they ran and they found a group of men who were meeting to worship. They were gathered in worship, according to the Scriptures, in a different place. And they went and said, come quickly, you can't imagine. So they witnessed concerning the risen Savior. They went and got their friends, said, come and see for yourself. And so they came, but it didn't stop there. They then took a walk on a place called the Emmaus Road. And on the Emmaus Road, Jesus himself appeared to them. So they walked. They had a conversation. There was a dialogue that took place. Jesus taught them and he instructed them. He appeared in their midst, in their walking worship service. And it didn't stop there either. While they were doing this, some of them went and actually went fishing. It's good news for all of those on Lake Bowen right now. But they went fishing with a purpose. They actually caught some fish because the Bible says that Jesus then ate with them. So on this day, they had a meal together. More good news. <laughs> don't you love that? We can eat, man. I'm ready. What are you having for lunch, brother? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know either. 
This, I'm giving you lots of good news here, folks. I mean, somebody get ecstatic around here. Then Jesus, after he appeared to all of this, all happened on Sunday. And he went, of course, after he appeared to all these others, and he ascended. And after he ascended, the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 2, God, by his Spirit, came down at Pentecost. What happened at Pentecost? They began to go out and meet everywhere on Sunday. And the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 2 and verse 46 that what God said to them in Exodus chapter 20, which now became what they did on Sunday morning as they looked into the empty tomb and they worshipped him, became an everyday experience for them from that moment on. 